Russia and Ukraine both play important roles on the African continent. I'm Kesha Gatari, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you how the conflict between these two countries could impact Africa. The crisis in Ukraine was already causing a rise in global oil prices, but the invasion of Ukraine by Russia, one of the world's top oil producers, has pushed oil prices beyond $100 a barrel for the first time since 2014. This means many households across the continent will face increased energy and transportation costs and the price of imported goods will go up. Kenya, Sudan and Morocco have already seen recent protests about the rising cost of living. However, high oil prices could provide extra income for top African oil exporters like Nigeria and Angola, who will be able to sell their product for more money on global markets. The US has announced it will impose severe sanctions on Russia following Moscow's attack on Ukraine. Putin chose this war, and now he and his country will bear the consequences. The measures are aimed at crippling the Russian economy, targeting its financial institutions and access to technology. A possible ban on Russia making transactions in US dollars could have a big impact on the $20 billion of annual trade between Africa and Russia. The conflict could also create a food security issue. Ukraine is one of the world's top grain exporters, but if harvests fail and exports are restricted due to the conflict, that could leave countries like Tunisia, Egypt, Morocco, and Libya, the biggest African consumers of Ukrainian wheat, in need of a new supplier. There are also concerns about the safety of Africans in Ukraine, which is a popular destination for students from the continent if the conflict worsens. Nigeria is reported to have about 4,000 students in the country, and Ghana says it has about 1,000. Around 5, 6 in the morning, we were just hearing something bombing, and then uh, it was like a panic. Everybody was out, like uh, trying to pack their stuff, trying to leave the, the capital trying to move to somewhere safe. It was scary because you literally see people going to their cars, packing things. On the line of the pharmacy was a very long line. In the supermarkets, the shelves were cleared, water and like basic things were gone. So people, there is mass panic. The African Union, in a statement, expressed extreme concern, calling on both parties to establish an immediate ceasefire and open political negotiations. If the conflict drags on, there will also be political decisions for African countries to make. At a UN Security Council meeting, Kenya's UN ambassador criticized Russia's intervention in Ukraine. Similar sentiments have been expressed by Ghana and Gabon, while in a statement, South Africa called for a peaceful resolution to the conflict. Other countries like Burkina Faso, Chad, Mali, Mauritania and Niger have all requested Russian military support in recent years. Will they feel pressure to take Moscow's side in the conflict? A full-bone conflict in Ukraine would shock Africa as it would shock the world. For now, Africans, like everyone else, must wait to see what happens next.